click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the chemical preparation of glucose and now in this topic I am going to talk about the chemical reactions of the glucose. So what are those reactions? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, in this topic I am going to talk about the chemical reactions of glucose. So starting with the first one that is what is the action of hydroxyl amine on glucose. This is what I am going to talk about with the help of the preparation. So for that let me introduce the structure of the glucose. We have understood to draw the structure of the glucose in Fischer's position formula. But in this case suppose if we talk about that is the structure that is CHO that is a condensed formula that is CHO this is CHOH four types and the lower part it will consist of that is CH2OH. And suppose we have to react it with hydroxyl amine and hydroxyl amine is nothing but NH2 OH and we also understand because the upper carbon atom where we can find because of the efficient position formula we understand that is the upper carbon atom is that carbon atom which can get easily oxidized so in that case basically what will happen is so as to remove H2 as a byproduct and this is how basically it will go and that is how basically we would get that is H2 as a byproduct and the main product that is what we could get is C H double bond M OH and the lower part it will consist of the same group over here that is C H O H four times and here there will be C H 2 O H. So the reaction proceeds in such a way that is the product that is what we have got over here is an oxam but this oxam is been obtained because of the glucose and that's the reason the name of this is glucoxam. So the next reaction is action of acetic anhydride on glucose. So for that let me give you the reaction that is suppose if we have draw the structure of glucose in such a way that is CHO, CHOH, which is four times, and the lower part it will consist of that is CH2OH. And suppose if this glucose is treated with that is acetic anhydride, that is CH3, C double bond O, twice, and this is the oxygen atom to which you see this acyl groups are associated with. So this is acetic anhydride, and in that case, we see the product that is what we could get is we should understand. That is, this acetic anhydride, it will replace the OH group and that is how basically we could get a product and there are basically 5 OH groups, that is 5 hydroxyl groups, that is 4 is here and the 5th one is over here and that is how basically the product that is what we could get is CHO, here there will be CH, while the rest of the part it will be C double bond O, CH3, while this one is 4 times I will write it over here and this is nothing but CH2. And this part it will be replaced with O C double bond O CH3 plus that is 5 moles of acetic acid that is CH3 COOH it will be removed as a map. So this is the product that is what we have got and the name of this product is known as glucose pentacetate and that's it and now let me move to the next one. So the next reaction is action of bromine water on glucose. So for that let me give you the reaction that is suppose if we talk about that is CHO CHOH four times and here that is what we could write in here as CH2OH and suppose if we are treating the glucose with bromine water so bromine water produces the basically hydrogen atoms and that is how basically this upper part that is this aldehyde group this will oxidize so as to get a particular product and that is basically carboxylic acid so therefore the product that is what we could get is COOH by the lower part it will be given as it is so CHOH four times and the lower part is CH2OH so therefore this is the product that is what we have got and the name of this product is known as gluconic acid so this is a carboxylic acid that has been obtained from the glucose and that's the reason the name is gluconic acid so this is one of the reactions that is what I have discussed about and now let me talk about the next one so talking about the next reaction is action of dilute HNO3 on glucose. So here basically I am going to talk about the reaction where we are introducing that is glucose with dilute HNO3. So whenever that is a glucose is treated with dilute HNO3 and we understand that is the HNO3 that is nitric acid is a good oxidizing agent. So in that case basically not only this carbon atom it will get oxidized, in fact this carbon atom it will also get oxidized and that's the reason that the product that is what we could get is 
C O O H and the middle part it will be as it is that is C H O H four times and this is C O O H. So therefore this is what we have got and the name of this is saccharic acid. So this saccharic acid is not only obtained from the glucose but it could be also obtained from the gluconic acid. Suppose if you are treating gluconic acid with dilute HNO3, still you will get a product that is known as saccharic acid. And now let me talk about the next reaction. So talking about the next reaction is action of hot HI on glucose. So for that let me explain the reaction that is, suppose if we are considering glucose that is CHOCHOH two times and this is nothing but CH2OH and suppose if we are treating it with HI. That is hot HI. So in that case, this all that is hydroxyl group that is what we can observe because this glucose is nothing but a polyhydroxy compound and polyhydroxy NDI. So this glucose it will get reduced to a foreign product and the product is nothing but an hexane. So that is CH3, CH2, CH2, you could write again CH2, CH2, and CH3. So therefore, this is nothing but an hexane. So this is the product that is what we could get if that is glucose is treated with hot HI. And now let me talk about the next reaction. So friends, talking about the next reaction that is action of hydrogen cyanide on glucose. So for that, let me give you the reaction that is whenever we are treating glucose that is CHO, this is what I'm going to write about. And that is CH2OH. So we understand that is this is the aldehyde group that is C double bond OH group. And suppose if we are treating it with hydrogen cyanide that is HCl. We understand that is for the aldehyde group, that is the carbon, it acquires a partially positive charge while the oxygen that acquires a negative charge. While in case of in hydrogen cyanide, the cyanide group is negative charge, so therefore it will attach with the carbon atom, while the hydrogen atom it will attach to the oxygen atom. And that is how basically the product that is what we could get is, I am writing over here as C, C, N. So this is the carbon atom to which basically the cyanide group has been attached and here basically there is a presence of O. So therefore the O will turn into OH and this is the H that was already present. And the lower part it will be as it is, that is COH, H, four times and this is CH2OH. So therefore this is the product that is what we have got and the name of this product is known as glucose cyanohydrin. So therefore this were all the chemical reactions that would be exhibited by the glucose and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe and channel. Thank you so much.